Oh. Hey, what? Time's candy. Time's candy? Hey, I. Hey, <laughs> time is candy. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. So, first of all, thank you for coming to this panel. I know that they scheduled us against GM Barrow and, and all the other things going on at this con is obviously a packed convention. We've got so many people here. Um, thank you for also, you know, I'm, thank you to the venue and everybody for actually the panel's actually happening because it moved about four times <laughs> before the convention. <laughs> so, uh, I'm glad that it came together. So, anyway, uh, welcome to the EFN panel. I am Final Draft. I'm the director of EFN. This is Captain Dan. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Cowboy Dave. Thank you. And what, 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 what was our, our, our title we came up for? What was it for? What is it? I think it was uh, everything. Well, it was like, <laughs> okay, so he's like our director of human resources or something, but that sounds awful. So, yeah, I think it was just uh, like, uh, anyway. Just, just manager. Yeah, yeah, general manager. Yeah. General manager. Yeah, there we go. We'll go with that. We'll there change the site later. <laughs> yeah. And what were you supposed to introduce me? Or am I introducing myself? You yeah, did for him. Oh, he delegated. He delegated. He delegated. Yep. So, okay, apparently I delegated. So I'm uh, Kinero. I am an Everfree Networks project specialist. What I do is still to be determined, apparently. He does everything. Yeah, I do a little bit of everything. When he can't do it, I do it. On top of that, I am also the director of KPNY, one of the video <laughs> dramas that's on uh, Everfree Network. On top of it being uh, its show liaison and logistics and all that other wonderful stuff. And on top of that, I also work for the news team. <laughs> where? How many shirts do you have? I also work for the news team where I clean up his messes sometimes when PR goes bad. And on the other side, I'm also a professional. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kinero, this isn't the appropriate venue. <laughs> well, well, to be fair, um, I, you know, I, I, was a, I was a volunteer firefighter for, you know, five years, so I had to make some money on the side. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, look out, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Ready just run up. <laughs> uh, well, I, I'm uh, CryptoLogic. I run the news site with the wonderful uh, people that are all here in front of us. <laughs> Uh, and uh, yes, he does fix all my problems because I get myself in trouble a lot. <laughs> so. Well, we actually have. A, I mean, you know, it's a, it, we've got a few of the other members of EFN here. Uh, obviously, in the audience, I know a lot of you guys know us already. Uh, but over here is Index, our uh, our new. Uh, our Coffee new boy. I'm so proud of him because he's doing camera work. You know, you're really a part of EFN when you've done camera work at a convention. So I, you know, this is like you know. The boy becoming the teenager or something is great. <laughs> you know, he told me it's gonna be impossible because to do camera work at a convention because we're not streaming anymore. We'll find a way. Yeah, <laughs> we'll find a way. We'll find a way. And, um, and then also in the crowd here we've got Larsis over here. Hey, oh, there is nothing on me right now that identifies me as EFN. Nothing at all. I'm sure. You've been, you've been branded. Whatever, Dad. Your name, Dad. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> And then over here is Reldan, who also works on our news site, and I, I, I have been told that you're now working with Osaka Jack on uh, Into the Spotlight. Yeah, I am. I'll be starting with that up later this year. Yep, if you ever read any of our Saturday morning uh, episode reviews, he's the one who writes it. Leaked or otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that. We don't worry about such things. See, that was a system uh, problem. We're not going to say whose system, but... Uh, <laughs> um, and then also over here is Casey, who works with the news team. Uh, Formerly of Bernie Clubhouse, I'm trying to get you to do merch reports. Well, you do merch reports, but uh, with the history of MLP. You do it. Yeah. So she does a lot of work with that. And then, sorry through here, uh, we got Jay Holler in the back there, who I need to speak to about PMV plus. I don't work for you anymore. You pay me to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Holler, you See, Holler and I have a special relationship because we both live in Minnesota, so I'm constantly oh, harassing it's him. It's a very special relationship. Yo, him super moon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then actually, uh, we've got a few other people here. Uh, Beavids has helped out on our site as well. Tyler's helped out. Um, and uh, what was it? Well, I'll get to it, but there are a couple people who are associated with a new show we're working on. So. Ooh, I've read about that. What means of a thing? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. So, uh, yeah. 
basically wanted to have a panel so we can meet some of the people, you know, at the convention in person. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the history and lengthy boringness of what EFN is, but effectively, you know, we're now two and a half years old. We started off as Everfree Radio, and we started off as an hour-long po podcast that we decided was more interesting if split up because bronies have a short attention span. And red ball. <laughs> Um, no, no. So we, we we decided to split it up, and we you know we focused on interviews, we focused on you know music reviews and all that. From there, we went to BronyCon January 2012. Was anybody else there at that one in in the Hotel Pennsylvania? Yeah. And I was I was in a hotel room there with One Trick and Eight Track, and Eight Track goes, you know, we could stream this. I said, really? What do we need? Well, I got this camera here, and we got this thing here. So yeah, we could stream it. I've seen that camera, by the way. I'm surprised you were able to do anything with it. I that think camera. he uses it as a paperweight now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was the doom of our times because once we had streamed that, you know, that's what we became known for was we were the streaming guys. So uh, all of 2012 and all of last year, we streamed pretty much every major convention, save for a couple that didn't want to be streamed or covered live. Sometimes conventions don't want that. Um, and, you know, the fandom's changing, it is, and this year we're not doing too much in the way of streaming just because I think a lot of conventions are looking for people to come in person and, or be recorded there. But last well, the year, people that want to, were interested in wanting to see what it's going to be like at their convention experience, they're already here. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, and I've always maintained, and I'll say this on this panel here, I've always maintained I believe in convention streaming because I know, I mean, how many people here in the room watched an EFN stream of a convention? And of you guys, how, did that stream convince you to go to a convention in person? Everybody's hands go down. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's one of those things that, I mean, when people see it, it's not so much a way to dispel ticket sales. It drives ticket sales for a convention. It makes them bigger because people want to participate. You know, as fun as it is to be, you know, from a camera angle, you're still separated by a screen. And I think that, you know, and I've tried to push this with conventions, um, but, you know, it, it's a changing fandom. People don't, uh, not all the conventions want to stream this year. So, anyway, um, so for two years we did convention streaming all the time. BronyCon last year was the most ridiculous production experience I have ever partaken in in my life. Half the people in this room did camera work for us. <laughs> um, we had He's not kidding. we had a crew of thirty people at BronyCon last year to do that stream. We had three concurrent live streams. We had two people managing a forty thousand know, dollar uh, TriCaster. I mean, it was insanity. It was crazy, and we were really proud of that work. Um, BronyCon's not looking to be live streamed this year. Sorry, oh. I know. But uh, you know, after that, we kind of we came back from BronyCon and we said, okay. We've put too much focus into the live streaming of conventions when really we started off to be about producing content for the fandom. So we had a meeting and I said, okay, what can we do to focus more on EFN the website, on everfree.net? And we had always in the back of our mind been thinking about, you know, starting to do news. And that's when we, you know, we really started pushing it. And soon after BronyCon actually, Krypton Logic here, joined the fray and basically stepped in and, and some of you don't know this if you follow him on twitter you do he's actually a he's rather mouse famous <laughs> he's a big part of the disney mouse fandom and yep. he's worked with several websites in the disney fandom dealing with news and you know press releases and all that stuff so he's really been able to come in and basically slap together ef news really effectively over the past several months and isn't something we might be working on in the future for EF News something we can talk about? No. In the future? In the, fu in the future? In the future. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, so I mean, that's kind of where we've been, and you know, we've been doing content posting, we've been doing news posting now, and to end my little rant, just to say that, you know, our overarching goal at EFN is, is to provide content for the fandom and to give sources where needed. You know, we work with different groups, we work with other news sites, we work with all of that, and uh, we try to... Uh, yeah, we try to you know, spread it around. You know. Because one thing we had noticed when we you know, really started working on the content posting was that, uh, that uh, you know, a, lot of, a lot of good stuff was being missed and a lot of good stuff wasn't being sourced, etc. So we tried to create a system that would let 
that stuff being showcased. And I think we've been, you know, we've been doing pretty good with that. I think we've been, I think we've been doing pretty decent. Oh, yeah. I need a microphone for the small room. <laughs> so should we start talking about, you know, maybe some, uh, some upcoming type of project? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I want to start. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So with the new site, you know, when it launched, um, we we try to utilize the same design that Everfree Network uses, uh, and it hasn't worked out to our benefit. It works, but it's just not as good as it could. Correct. Be. It can be better. Yeah. It's it utility. Improve. Yeah. It, so uh, I'm currently working on a complete redesign and overhaul of the Everfree Network news website, uh, which I know my writers and reporters will be very excited about. Well then, uh, so we're working on that. Hopefully, launch something in the summer, uh, so it will be easier to get content and easier to post it, and then be able to. Uh, it will be easier to uh, access it as well, so you won't ever miss an episode review or a uh, interview, which we're working on to also bring to the table. We're working on a lot of new projects, and we're bringing on board. Uh, actually, when I get back from Babscom, interviewing six more people to bring on to the news team to work with us. Yep. So we can expand and continue to grow and have quality. You know, content. I should say too, you know, some groups out there have tons and tons and tons of staffers, some groups have only three or four. I think we've got a dedicated group of about, what, 25, do you think? Grand no. total? No, no. Not it's for just news, I'm talking about in general. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for yeah. EFN, about 25 yeah. people. And, you know, we, we like that because everybody who works on EFN, they are workaholics. I have been yelling at these two all weekend to stop working because we're not officially doing streaming. Draft? Yes. Shut up. <laughs> We're working. <laughs> we, have to, we have to stream. We had this meetup we did in California with Casey and Tyler there and a whole bunch of other people. Lars says we, we all met in California. And there was a party that you know Garnica, who's, uh, who's from Southern California, was at. And he was DJing it. He busts out a camera and a laptop. Nick Ha, who works in the Burning Con documentary, was there. And he's starting to like wire things up. I'm like, what the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> Like, what are you doing? He's like, shut up, Draft. I'm working. No, but we have a lot of workaholics on our team, and that means that we've been able to accomplish quite a bit with you know, a really intense core group of people. So, anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I interrupted you, didn't I? Yes. Sorry. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he did interrupt you, but there was one thing about the new, uh, new set that you were going to be launching. So, pretty much, you're going to be telling me it's going to be more edgy. Yeah, can you make it pop a little bit? Yes, it's not going to be black. Does it have glitter on it? <laughs> no, no gradients. What about Sorry, there will be no, no gradients. Are you trying to tell us it will be 20% cooler in 10 seconds flat? No. He's wow. telling you, hashtag 2011. He's telling you it's going to have more Adler. Drive, 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 drive. Yes? I have a solution to this. Oh, God. I want you to get out. So one thing that a lot of people, and I haven't talked about this at any other panels or really publicly too much, the way that we all communicate is we use a program called Mumble. Has anybody heard of that before? Yeah. Well, aside from the people who in here who use it. Um, it's, it's a basically, it's usually used for video games, but it's the way that we communicate and you can post images. This image has been posted in our Mumble, what, five times a day at least? No. No, more. More like uh, 50. <laughs> The whole weekend, like, okay, who's seen Captain America, the new one? Um, or at least heard of the Hail Hydra meme. You know what I'm talking about? Get out. Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> we come up and give each other hugs, we're just like, get out. <laughs> also, everybody in this room is going to leave with one of these today. Because <laughs> <Yeah>. you're <laughs> going to have to get out of this room. So, I, I mean... I'm not leaving, you can't make me. <laughs> Um, I actually have a bit of an announcement, uh, since I do do some show work for EFN, which is what this shirt's for. I'm not going to bother to put it on because it's too much time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm turning into drafting for that. Yep. Ride. But a uh, bit of an announcement for, for that radio drama that I work on, KPNY. Actually, uh, we're going to be taking a small hiatus after this next week's episode. But during that time, we are taking some time off. I know I promised this a long time ago. We are finally releasing the comic, the Dungeon comic that we've been working on for over a year. And I've seen the I've seen the preview images. 
saying. It's actually a, a really well done comic too. Yeah, and it's it's something like ninety panels, the whole thing. Wow. And it's taking us a long time to put it together. So while we're on break, we're gonna finally release all of it. So for those of you who are listening for that, so well, I guess while we're talking about shows, um, you know, I, I most of you guys know this already, but I'll just you know, in general, you know, we do host a lot of different podcasts that that came out of. Uh, when we first were doing our own podcast, and then I started working with Equestrian Choir, and then I set up Dusty's show, and we did this other stuff. It kind of grew and snowballed. We right now are at about, what, 15 shows? Uh, is it 15 or 20? It's, it's 50. Is it 15? Yeah, we have 13 active shows, and we have yeah, two we have a, shows. Yeah, we've got a couple of shows coming up. But just to give you an idea of the kind of shows that we do, and I should say, when I say we do, we... Well, he does his show, but we don't do the show. The way we work, it's the same way that we treat content. Uh, groups will come up to you know, me or send an email and say, I'm looking to do a show. We've got this idea. We want to really, really do, well, most of them are, I want to be a DJ. But a lot of them are... Play Discord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but I mean, a lot of them are stuff like, uh, <laughs> it's true. You'd be surprised. Yep. Yep. Um, a lot of them are, you know, I've got this great idea for a show, I want to do a show about brony sports. I've seen that one, I had one that was about uh, martial arts, um, and, and, but they have this idea, what I'll say is, okay, get me a pilot. When you're doing a show in a traditional media or whatever, they always have a pilot that they produce, just to show that they basically can make the show. I have no part of, you know, production, none of us do it. In fact, what we tell them is, you produce your show yourself. And so it's snowballed. We've added a bunch of shows. We have a new show now called Elements of Harmony, which is pretty popular because it's hosted by Forrest Rain, if you guys know who he is. Yep. Um, it also has uh, Starlight Iron Hoof. And Larsus also works. Larsus is a big part of that, yeah. mostly because he's got a natural narrating voice, can't be helped. Um, I don't. We also, back there, Burned, who snuck into the the convention suddenly. <laughs> QDR Crusaders here. QDR Crusaders. Third of their force. So. Which, I think you are the longest continually running show, if I'm not mistaken. Like, you haven't skipped a week in the longest amount of time. Years now, yeah, it's been crazy. Um, We're having our 100th episode in like six days. Or six it's days. insane. Yeah, 100th episode. Wow. And they do all their... Yeah. They do all their... They do all of their production themselves, and it's just been an amazing experience in that sense. So, I love you too. <laughs> love you really. Love you too. Where's your ponytail? Is it still there? It's oh, is it hidden? Oh. Yeah, you yeah. cut your ponytail. No. Oh. Oh. Sir? Can Sir? You please get out. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> Um, that's probably why I didn't recognize him. Yeah, I, I was I walked right by him. I when he came in, I felt like something was, was off. It was like, the Okay, so other shows that have been coming up. Um, oh, and I am getting a call from Kibby. Do you guys know who Kibby is? Okay, so I'm just going to put this on speaker really quick. <laughs> because right now I'm on the EFN panel. Kibbles, please. Yes. <laughs> yes. Can, can I get the room? Can you guys all, on the count of three, yell kibbles, please? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Kibbles, please! <laughs> <laughs> Kibby is our graphic designer. <laughs> And I've just been tormenting the poor guy for so long. <laughs> He's too funny. Um, okay, so new shows that are coming up. Um, one that is really close to being aired is one that I, I don't know how many episodes have been recorded so far. Ohad over there would know. A lot. Yeah. Is Pony Pathfinder, actually. Um, it's, if you guys have heard of it, it, who knows what Pathfinder is in general? Okay. It's like Dungeons and Dragons. It's slightly different. It's a little bit tweaked. Um, well, there's a pony version of it. The author of which is in the artist alley. Actually, he's trying to call back. He can go away. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Rather get into voicemail. <laughs> I think he sent me an image. Hold on. Yeah, I was gonna say he sent you an image. Yeah. I was trying to swipe. <laughs> Typical kibbles. Hold on. He sent a Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, do it, do it. Okay, so he texted Kanero back. Okay, so you're just saying three, two, one. Kibbles, please. 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 Kibb
One. Two. So, all right. Uh, <laughs> what, what's cool about Pony Pathfinder, what they're doing, is basically, you know, the author of Pony Pathfinder is part of their group. They are doing the group Pathfinder session, but they're recording it, they're editing down some of the. If anybody's ever played DD, there's always, you know, haggling. Is that an attack of opportunity? I don't know. <laughs> five hours Roll later. Roll five hours. Yeah, five hours later and six cans of Mountain Dew, they're like, oh, okay, it is. It <laughs> no, but, but they, they're boiling it down into, like, the juicy bits and making it into a, into a, um, I got caught on the phrase juicy bits. It's too yeah, good. well, speaking of which, Toasty Girl Justice is right here. Oh. Yeah, Toasty's right here, yep. Ohad's over there, um, and then... <laughs> Dustin right here. Oh! Oh, you're dead or dead. I haven't even said hi to you yet. Hi. Hi. So it's going to be really cool. They're that hot off the presses. Yeah, we're actually, I'm meeting a lot of the people making this show in person for the first time. Um, and yeah, and Alex isn't here because God knows where Alex is. He's probably stuck between like elevator floors or something. <laughs> Literally stuck. Like a stuck video. in traffic? Yeah, he's in traffic. Oh. Sounds to me oh. like, excuses. like he's stuck in excuses. What was that? I've been told we couldn't hear you drive. I, I, I garnered from, from these poor actors over here that they're going to be doing some kind of pranks on me today. No. no. Of course. Never. Of course not. What have we ever done that during the UFM panel? <laughs> Would your core staff ever do this to you? Yes. yes. <laughs> Damn <laughs> yeah. But you know what? We don't worry about such. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I knew it was coming. <laughs> Good job on his part. He saw it coming and moved the mic away. <laughs> I don't want to kill the people listening on headphones at home. <laughs> Too late. Um, <laughs> So, okay, yeah, so Pony Pathfinder is probably going to air in, I'd say, the next couple of weeks here at the latest. Um, they've got how many episodes? Like 20 or whatever recorded? Yeah. Which begs the question, how many endless hours they've been playing that game? Lots. Uh, I just remember the text message I got from Alex. We just bought $400 worth of chairs for this show. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Like, well, buy me four hundred dollars worth of, of in and out first. Come on, <laughs> I'll try to eat it. <laughs> or like get to the second burger and then quit out. So there are two other shows that are in development. One has been in, I guess, what's called production hell for too long, um, and that is uh, is Radio is Magic. They used to be a channel on. Uh, well, they had their own channel, then they were with PBL, then they decided they wanted to reform it as a podcast. That one's going to be really cool when it finally happens, and I think the reason why it's taking so long is because of what they're doing. It's a talk discussion show, and they're animating it. So the characters are basically, you know, their OCs or whatever, animated, which I think is really cool. They've got the first 10 minutes of their first episode done, um, so that's coming out soon. And then also uh, there's another show that we're working on. If you guys have heard of The Loyal Brony and My Little Reviews, he's developing that into a new podcast as well. But it by ear, you know, it's always interesting. Um, so yeah, I don't know, what else you want? Well, there is another show we're working on. Yes, no. there is. Yep. Oh yeah? Yeah, there is a new, uh, new show that we've been working on that... We know what we have right here? This is called Detente. <laughs> this is a Cold War, don't you dare. We're at a Mexican standoff now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm blinking, it's auditory. What are you guys doing? Uh, we have a new show. So, yes, we do have a new show. <laughs> no, we do have a 3 a.m. What? In your ear. <laughs> Just I'm, glad, you I'm glad I'm not staying in your room. Oh! oh. oh. Ooh. The girl with the ammo. Denied. Oh, Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
So, uh, but yes, uh, there, there has been a couple. A couple oh yeah, there is that other show. Okay. There, there has been a show that we've been working on in secret, uh, yes. uh, without letting any other people know. And it's something that everyone has always asked Draft this very, yeah. very same question multiple times. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. And frankly, I think it's time we finally make that show happen. What? Oh boy, it's happening. What? It's happening. What are you it's doing? happening. We're gonna cook We're with Draft. Bake oven. Why not? What is my life? <laughs> That's the only thing we could get where we know you can't burn it. <laughs> oh God! Ow. Okay, so they're referencing. I did a uh, I did a video on my my crappy YouTube channel, which I poorly did. And I did, it was a response to Dusty Cat because Dusty had done some cooking video that was really pretentious and I was like, okay, I'm gonna show how I make mac and cheese. I made the crappiest mac and cheese ever, which actually tasted pretty good. You so dry, dry. It was so horrifying. It was terrible. Casey is saying she was I actually ate that. <laughs> you broke you in a tree. Oh. <laughs> That's to you for that. You've murdered her. So she was crushed. <laughs> Hey, Dra. Yes. You have your choice of what you want to learn how to cook first. Oh, God. We have uh, whoopie pies, <laughs> pretzels, what? Chocolate chip cookies. Those Ooh, are good. What in the <laughs> red velvet cake <laughs> and chocolate truffles? Wow. This is happening. It's happening it's, it's right happening. now, and it's being recorded. <laughs> it's our first episode. So anyway. <laughs> Yep, this is happening right now. Okay. This is debuting on a new Everfree Network. Okay, you know what? Let's do it by a pause, because whatever we make, these guys get to partake in. So, what, okay, could you like, yes. name them so, off and let's get, a, let's get it by applause. Red velvet and strawberry cakes. Boo! Yeah. Pretzels. Boo! That is boring. You don't get to boo. Whoopie pies. Woo! Question: Is the enthusiasm because it's whoopie pies or because it's called whoopie pies? It's it's called whoopie pies. pies. Good. Uh, chocolate cookies <laughs> and uh, chocolate truffles. All right, whoopie pies win. God. Okay, so it's, I it's guess happening. while they do that, there's actually yeah. another show that we've been in development. We did a pilot episode of. Um, how many people here have heard of my crappy live stream called how Final Lord Friends? What? 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 Okay, I do a stupid show on a sub channel in VFN. It's not on the main okay. channel called Final and Friends. It's basically, me blasting we, techno and doing. We don't have a plug. This is a problem. Uh, we didn't plan yeah, this through. <laughs> We've encountered a technical. Uh, thing. Why does it have a sticker instead of an actual clock? Because. <laughs> because we know you can't count either. <laughs> Well, anyway, um, that show was always too, you know, it was always just too goofy, whatever. It wasn't, you know, supposed to be something that was supposed to be like a main channel show. But what we decided was that because of this kind of stupidity that happens behind the scenes all the time. Hey, hey, Mike. That's why it doesn't it's make It's made by Hasbro. Woo! This panel brought to you by Hasbro. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I get the feeling the venue's gonna come and clear us out for making food. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, yeah. So or that show is, is dumb, and, and you know, and, and because you know we have this kind of silly dynamic behind the scenes all the time that almost nobody ever sees. Because our website is pretty clean cut, and our you know the shows are the shows. We're actually gonna be eventually starting a regular show called Equ uh, I can't really call it Equestria Unplugged. It's ever free unplugged. It's basically just gonna be us shooting the breeze. You know, and, and just doing our thing. Because, yeah, this sort of stuff all the time. Yep. Shenanigans. You two are ridiculous. We are. We were discussing who was going to start the Babs on Fire. <laughs> the answer is you. <laughs> well, how no. many, okay, now how many of those, like, how long does it take for that to make those? We didn't, we didn't plan that. <laughs> how the hell did you end up with an easy bake oven? Ohad. Ohad. Hey, Ohad. Why are you enabling them? <laughs> Oh, Hud, you're awesome. <laughs> so, I guess while they well, figure that out, you know what? We just don't worry about such things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm done. <laughs> I can't even. I'm oh, taking over this guess? spot while these Julia oh, children have fun. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. No. So, so let can we kiss? Please scale back the air horns. <laughs> oh my ear. <laughs> um, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, last one. I promise. I promise. Wire. Yeah. yeah. Right. Someone in the audience has one now, though. So. I know. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess to be in general. Um. Aside from all of that, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we should be telling these guys right now. How to make a whoopie pie. Yeah, we're going to learn how to make a whoopie pie. Why don't you read the instructions for it? No. No, Larsis is going to be saying that his... Actually, yeah, no, no. Can we... Everybody, I'm not kidding. Larsis can do a perfect announcer voice. Can you can you please read these instructions as an announcer? Actually, tonight here on National Pony Radio, we're going to be going over the dangers of the Easy Bake Oven <laughs> to prevent electrical shock. Do not immerse in water. <laughs> this one's for you, Canera. <laughs> also, wipe clean with a damp cloth. We recommend that you peri periodically. I talk it sometimes. Examine the toy for potential hazards that any potentially hazardous parts be repaired or replaced. That See back page for company contact information. Please replace hazardous parts. How are you supposed to know until the problems happen? <laughs> well, Oops, Jonah, this part's radioactive. Smoke. That's what the smoke is for. The, the magic of friendship. You detect it by the magic of friendship? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Casey, do you know how to use this? Yeah. All right, so come help us use this. Okay, while they figure that out, while they figure that out, I guess I don't Maybe know if anybody came here with any kind of questions for us or anything they wanted to yell or whatever. Um, we can do that while we bake these, and then we can address some whoopie pies. Thank you. I will not answer questions about the season four finale. Sorry. So about the uh, season four premiere. <laughs> oh, that. Okay. Don't worry yes. about that. Um, I'm gonna go down the line here. So yes. Uh, why'd you change from Everfree Radio to Everfree Network? We changed from Everfree Radio to Everfree Network because Nash nagged me until we did. Okay. No, um, we, <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we started off as Everfree Radio because we were just a podcast. And what ended up happening is because we kept posting different things, content, other podcasts, effectively we became more of a network, especially with our radio station, uh, than we were just a radio program. So, I like the sound of EFR better than EFN, but Nash, who, if you guys don't know, is our site coder in Sweden. That's why he's not here right now. Um, he was insistent that our site be consistent and that everything would be logical, and I still can't get over that there is an easy bake oven on this table. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Draft. You need to do this. This is your prank. I, it's not my prank. Yeah, you're doing this. Casey's no. It's cooking with Drive, right not cooking with Casey. I don't know how I that, so. No. But there will be pies. Guys, I'm sticking with the original title. This is not cooking with draft, this is cooking with Julia Children. So yeah, it's um that's why we switched to Everfree Network where we went. Okay. No, he's right there. Okay. I saw something uh, on your Twitter page talking about Unicon 2. Is that really happening? Uh I didn't uh, I didn't post that. Uh, but you know what? I think a lot of people okay. And I, I bet everybody else, this is my personal opinion while they figure this out. Because of the number of guests that this convention has, I think a lot of people who are veterans of LPU came in here thinking that it's possible it would do the same thing. It's not going to. I mean, obviously, they're way better. Run. It's way better. Run. Yeah, it's not. But I, I know a lot of people who brought their LPU badges with them to this convention. Oh, boy. I may or may not have done the same. But, no, it's, it's looking good. Yeah. I have an episode of Saturday Night Song because of when they created a plan. No. <laughs> that would assume that there is a plan for Saturday Night Songs. <laughs> Do you guys know what Saturday Night Songs is? I know it's a lot of people. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Saturday Night Songs is a, a live show I do every week with, with, Chaos. with Michelle Kreber, who's the voice of Apple Bloom. And actually, in the, for the past few months, it's also been with Black Griffin, um, if you know who he is. Amazing musician. Yeah. Um, it's by far the biggest trial of my sanity that my, I've had in many years. It's just, an, it's crazy. Oh, I can tell you guys that. He nope. does our producing. Mm -hmm. 
I do the producing for the show, and I've had like, okay, it's 15 minutes to show. Where is everybody? Yeah, it's like, we're just finishing filming this segment. It's like, okay, that's I fine. Was, and then they're, it's uploaded like five minutes into the show. Here, go download it, and we'll play it in 10 minutes. They're like, seriously, okay, it's a great show, and the Creepers are an amazing family who are really talented and everything. But it's always by the seat of our pants because at any given moment, like any week, it's always live on Saturday. Um, it will be five minutes to show time, and I'll be like, so. Have we heard from them? Nope. Uh, are we gonna have you know a video that we're playing? Well, I got you know we're gonna get an agenda. We'll see. And then, like at eight, I'm thinking Central Time, but at eight fifty nine p.m. and we're supposed to go live at nine. Suddenly, oh, here's the video link. Here's the agenda. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay, and five, four, three, we're live. Yep. <laughs> All the time. There have been episodes, and I'm not going to admit to which ones, where we didn't, I didn't know what we were going to be playing until the, you know, 20 minutes in. And the reason why is because those guys are so busy. They are constantly working. So if, they, if we don't get it in advance, it's because they're either filming something new, or they're off, like, Michelle's doing a voice for something, or dancing, or, you know, singing, or whatever. On uh, one Saturday Night Songs episode, she actually yeah. called in from the dance studio. Yeah. She called her from the dance studio one time. Um, but there's some cool things that are going to be coming up with that show, actually. For example, and I know Nolan here is going to be there. Um, I'm also in a completely separate capacity, the head of MLP MSP, which is a convention in Minneapolis. And they're going to be there. We're going to do a live SNS there. So that's going to be pretty cool. Minnesota represent. You know, just for the record, we thought this easy bake would actually be easy. You know, Captain Murphy from Sea Lab 2021 just makes it. Are you so seriously easy. mixing water from the lobby for this? Yes. Oh, hey, that's you good. should be. But How many lazy. infant employees does it take to make brownies? A lot. The moon pies. Moon what pies. pies. Whoopie pies. Moon pies. What am I supposed pies. to do with this? Do the work. Mix it. Pies. This is your favorite cooking show. This is the most. Like this is the sort of thing you get like in like a government hair drop. Look at this. Three nine four easy bake chocolate brownie mix artificially flavored. This unit not labeled for retail sale. <coughs> but I believe Marcus okay. has the directions for us. Marcus. In a world where you pour one chocolate brownie mix and one and a half teaspoons of water into a bowl, stir and press the mixture together until it's thick and doughy. <laughs> Sprinkle flour on your hands and roll the mixture into a ball. <laughs> Split the ball in half to make two equal pieces. I don't have flour. I don't have a mixing implement. You have, I've got you have excuses. What am I hearing? No! no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So there were some more questions. I can't do this because we don't have flour or anything. And then, what is this? It doesn't matter. What is this? It's we're going to do water. Have the water. I measured it for you and everything. Yeah, yeah. measured. So, half so the you want me to pour the, this into that? Yes. yes. And then mix it for our amusement. Oh, Jesus. You know what? I'm tired of this. I'm going back to There is so bad. much stupid happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're spilling it everywhere. This isn't. It's happening. It smells really good. <laughs> You're making a mess. More well, you can shove it. No. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I'm glad they were not useful. Okay, now how am I supposed to mix it? Finger, finger, roll it up finger, 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 finger. Finger. Yeah, finger. roll it up to a little yeah. spoon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is by far the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> 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 and I was an LPU. <laughs> I was just going to say LPU. Okay, so while I do the stupidity, does anybody else have a question? Yeah, I'll yes, guess. Luigi. Any thoughts on the upcoming 20th anniversary of the white Bronco chase? <laughs> Wow. Oh. It has been 20 years. Okay, I was in fourth grade at the time, and my, my fourth grade math teacher was actually played. This actually worked. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> do, do it. I don't question it. Just follow directions. Look at talk. So, 
I was in fourth grade at the time, and my fourth grade math teacher had it on TV, and I asked her what's going on. I was like, this idiot just isn't stopping for the police. Um, there you go, OJ. I don't know. He's in jail for other things now, so. Yeah. You know. Yeah, apparently armed robbery can put you in jail. Who knew? Who knew? Well, what I love is that he was doing that because he, he was saying he was trying to recover his own, like, memorabilia. Yeah. That was his argument. But I guess that needed a gun. <laughs> So I think I see a question for a Mr. from Jay Holler in the audience. Okay. Oh, question, actually, yeah. Oh boy. I have something to give you. Oh God. Oh no. Oh. So the you may have heard earlier we had the Goldie Awards. Oh yeah. No, the awards for this grand fandom. They forgot to give you guys your awards. This is actually for you. And What's so. What's it for? for being a connoisseur of Chinese buffets in the greater Minnesota area. Thank you, sir. And not only that, you didn't win one award. Oh, no, you won two awards. This is for remembering the, the password to your laptop. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't me. That was a PBL. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, and since we're I love how he's trying to make this into like a like a macaroni thing, but it fell over, so it you had to... It, it, so. it no. doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> do you want the macaroni? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I've mixed this. Now what do I do? Roll it into a bowl. Roll it into a bowl. But where am I supposed to put it? In the tray. <laughs> but mom! <laughs> but daddy! Since we're giving out pointless awards here, I also wanted to present something to you, Drap. Oh god. No. For an appreciation for all the hard work you put into Hard work. work. <laughs> Hardly work, you know. Which for? I had to present you with this copy oh, of god. Netscape Internet Essentials Deluxe 4.5. So wow. a copy of Cyber Control one year for I thought you threw out all your old CD ROMs. He was I saved one for you. Oh <laughs> updated. Uh, Yes, yeah, up to date. CD-ROM for Windows 98. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just realized when I handed that to him, and I said Netscape, people were like, whatever that is. And now I feel This is pointless. <laughs> <laughs> this whole panel is pointless. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it's fun. Exactly. It goes, it goes in here. Okay, so that would have been... This looks like an Altoids tank. <laughs> that's pretty close. <laughs> I don't want to do this stuff! Hey, Drive, you have 15 minutes to cook. Uh, you need to make we need to cook. <laughs> we need to cook, Drive. There's no way you can do that with this! I'm making one lump, and we're cutting it, and you all are gonna like it! <laughs> God! <laughs> this is so stupid! <laughs> Where's Dusty? Oh, he's a cook. We'll have this on the record, but also while he's doing that... I'm gonna go back to work on, on Tuesday and they're gonna be like, What did you do? And I'm like, in front of people, I used an easy bake oven in the worst possible manner. <laughs> well, how did you use it? Well, I put it in a plastic cup, I mixed it with a rolled up foil package, I then slopped it onto an Altoids tin. This is why they have McDonald's. <laughs> I'm not supposed to cook. Don't you mean in and out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna put it But while he's something. messing with it, I can't get to dump. <laughs> I just have to scream. <laughs> what is that like? What is your okay, life? Okay, so I think you had a question. Oh, Wait, yeah. before the question, I just wanted to do one thing. And I have this for Crypto oh, no. Magic. Oh, no. My favorite pony. Uh, is it blushing? <laughs> uh -huh. That is an appreciation for your work on the new site. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. more pony stuff. This is his first pony convention. It is, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. I can't even look at it without speaking. <laughs> 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 Does this be live stream? Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, well, not up close. We have a close up on our camera. Close up. Oh, it's uh, it's yes. beautiful. You know what this looks like? I'm working with. 
<laughs> no. We're not okay. gonna talk about that. You know what this looks like I'm working with? No! <laughs> I got crap all over my hands. <laughs> I never was good with this crap. <laughs> then don't make mac and cheese. Alright, who wants us to make this? <laughs> Off my hands. <laughs> <laughs> and match your shit in your hands. Hey, Brad, 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 do we even have a timer so we can keep time counting? It actually tastes stuff? pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to eat it raw. I okay. hope you made enough for everybody. Yeah, you're good. You put it in the oven. Close the tray inside the hole or it gets the dough again. Did you make enough for everybody? I have like that. Oh, boy. You're going to burn yourself. Until it's about in the middle. This is by far the stupidest thing. Why would I have to make this? I just want to point out that it says here first step spray baking pan with cooking spray. I had an axe to do You know, this must be an easy thing. There's nothing easy about this. How is this easy? That's true. Okay. Now, I just want to point out that conventions always take out insurance to secure the venue and all of that. When this catches on fire, that little box the company provides you for what happened isn't going to be big enough. <laughs> and uh, when this does catch on fire, it will be directed immediately to the exit of the rear of the room. There's one behind the projector screen, and there's two going out to the hall. So. Now we're just going to line up in a nice orderly fashion and proceed out like the hotel while we run out the back door. <laughs> hey, uh, Dave, Dave, what, what the heck? What did you do to me? I don't like this. You broke up, She's showing up for real babies this color. Oh, my. Yes. I want to know one question. Have you, or what are your thoughts on the purple wedding? On oh, the Purple Wedding? Oh, it was amazing. Okay. He is not a big guy. I a Thrones fan. amazing. <coughs> I, re okay, yeah. First of all, um, I, uh, I, I'm that hipster. I'm that hipster who read the books six years ago. So I knew it was coming. Hang on. But I love, I mean, they did a great job with it. I really like what HBO's doing because. No, draft it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> No, I think, I think HBO could have easily changed things around from the original books to make it more viewer friendly. They could have let, I mean, this is not spoilers of this, but they could have let Rob and the rest of the family live or whatever, and they stuck to the books, and I respect that. So, I also think it's kind of funny because the guy who plays Joffrey, the actual actor is amazing. If you ever, like, if you ever see his, he did a lecture at Oxford about, like, the power of celebrity or whatever, he's a genius, he's really good. Um, but he does such a great job of playing such a hateable character. Everybody thinks, oh, those guys are douche, whatever. Yep. He just does, he just did that good of a job. So it's like you. So on the one hand, I was almost sad to see him go because Ooh. he was such a he a, a, a wonderfully hateable character, and there aren't that many of those out there that you actually want to see go. And then yeah, so yeah. Well, I think yeah. he bought a baked cakes in celebration. You know, and everyone else 15 years ago when the books came out, they were like, hey. Oh, when I read it, I was like, huh. <laughs> like, this is so good. Good. So, yeah. yes. How yes. long did the direction say? I have no idea. Uh, 15 yes. minutes? Favorite convention. Oh, my God. Favorite convention? Yeah. Uh, of all things I've ever been to, or that we've been to, or it's the um, event stuff. You've ever been to. Favorite convention? We pick the hardest. I don't know. That's a really hard question. <laughs> LPU. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I will admit to this, and this is something a lot of people don't know. After LPU, <laughs> I still think this is hilarious. Me and uh, does anybody? I know some people here know him personally, but uh, Fulner. Do you guys know who he is? He's vice chair for BronyCon this year. He and I, at the end of LPU, after everything was done and we had already, you know, we get the money donated and all that stuff. We went to the slot machines. I bought a Miller Genuine Draft, because draft. 
then I sat at the Monopoly machine for about 20 minutes just, just doing that because it seemed like it was appropriate. <laughs> but, uh, right no, um... Lord of the Rings, where you lost, like, $100. You know, it's hard to, to pick one because I think there are elements of each convention. This is probably true for everybody here who's been to more than one Brony convention. There are elements of each convention that I think stick out. Like, I think of Everfree Northwest... Uh, 2012 where I first met Andrew Francis and the whole time I'm running around the lobby yelling Dr. Francis you know it was just ridiculous and it was it was a lot of fun but at the same rate there was that hill <laughs> if anybody was there it was a hill that had to be trudged up to get between their two venues luckily now they're at the Hilton uh, in Seattle and, and that worked out I mean last year's Everfree Northwest went really well um, last year's BronyCon went really well but the BronyCon before that I mean there were so many stories that came out of it like, uh, we were we were live streaming BronyCon 2012, June, the one that was in Pungent, Secaucus, New Jersey. <laughs> I added the adjective pungent, but I think it was earned. <laughs> also, it's New Jersey, so I think the whole state applies. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, during that, of course, there was that infamous fire. Well, we were the ones live streaming it, and I can't stop laughing at that because we were live streaming a light fixture burn to 2,000 people. And... <laughs> We were the last ones out of there, and it's just it was just this little stupid fire, and then next thing you know, we're seeing, you know, what's that Adele song, you know, instead of set fire to the rain, it's I set fire to the con, and they're using the footage that we had of the thing on fire. I was just laughing so hard at that. So it's hard to pick one. There are like memories from each that I really like, and, and I think it's probably true for these guys. I bet his favorite Coney Con so far, though, is Babs Con, because it's his only one so far. No. <laughs> Get out. I Okay, um, he had his hand up first. Uh, so, what does it feel like to use an easy make out for the first time? <laughs> <laughs> this draft tell us, we're going to write a review on the site about it? Yes. <laughs> what are you feeling right now? No, don't say what you're feeling. Apprehension. I'm really afraid of what's going to come out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> I mean, that is literally an abortion of baby. <laughs> that was an unwanted Actually, child of a It smells pastry. pretty good. Actually, it kind of does. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, it sad. Good. It was good so batter. Good. It's just goo. It's I almost like... asked whether or not it was okay to eat the batter, and then I realized this is for kids, and I don't think they're going to let, you know, 12-year-old girls die from <laughs> eating it. But, uh, yeah. Um... <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Questions? Yes. Uh, what's your favorite moment with Saber Spark and or Ray AC Race Fest? Okay. My favorite moment was Saber Spark. Yeah. Jesus, take the, the wheel! wheel. <laughs> at, at EQLA, the first one, we went to Disneyland. Saber Spark is deathly afraid of roller coasters. He can't handle <laughs> no, them. It's the hype. It's just the hype. Like, no, the, it's uh, all the drops. Right. He just, 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 no. And, not even the Pirates of the Caribbean ride where it's like this gentle, like 20 foot slope. Yeah. You start screaming and grabbing onto me, it's, it's like just screaming right in my face. There are videos of it, and we went to, uh, I think it's Screaming Over, not Screaming Over California, California Screaming Over California Screaming. Okay, I can't misname it because this no, guy no. here knows everything about this yep. Uh Tell him about that time I knew a restaurant you were yeah, in. Yeah, Dave and I, back in February, I tweeted out a picture of a burrito I was eating while we were at Disneyland during, you know, our little meetup called Evercon, which some people thought was a real convention. That was funny. That was funny. I got a couple direct messages, where do I buy tickets? <laughs> well, see, that's, that's the thing. We, uh, we can't just meet up. If, if we're just meeting up just in general, we think we're, we're slightly crazy, so we had to make it a convention. Yeah, we did. Um, anyway, we took a, I took a picture of the burrito, and I, I, I tweeted, you know, sometimes you just have to have what you want, because I was in the mood for that, and it was even day. Less than a minute later, this guy tweets back, he wasn't there, he's like, oh, you were at this restaurant, what was the name of it again? Cocina Cucamonga. Exactly. Because <laughs> he just knew, he knew which restaurant we were at by the food. There wasn't anything else to tell. Just nope. crazy. But anyway, that was my favorite moment with Saber, for sure, was that he was screaming on the roller coaster, and like... <laughs> He had steeled himself against, uh, against, I'm sorry, what was it called again? California Screaming. Thank you. Uh, he had steeled himself against California Screaming. He's like, I'm good for this. I'm, gonna be, I'm, I'm, I'm an adult. I can handle this. And he's like, he's like fidgeting and worrying. And one of the people, you know, one of the, the cast members goes, you know there are four-year-old girls who ride this? <laughs> and he goes, shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to, we, we sit at the front of the car. 
<laughs> and and we, st we pull up, and if you guys have ever been on that roller coaster, what it does is it pulls up, and then it will stop, and, you know, and then it like goes, three, two, one, and then shoots off. As soon as it says three, he's like, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> we actually have a picture. Someone was actually videotaping. Josh, it took off. Oh, God. Oh. Hello, Stan. Oh, you got some on YouTube. <laughs> I did. Taste it. It's good. Oh, my. Maybe. Have some more. <laughs> All right. No, but there's a picture of Saber's face when the, the first launches, and he's like, Yeah. <laughs> and, and we go up the first loop, he's like, Oh, God, in heaven, Jesus. He cried. Ah! Funny as hell. What about AC? AC? Well, he went on the roller coaster with us one time to record it. Um, and I did a, a, a Bronies React once for the season three finale. And that was kind of fun to do because I had never done one. We have a question. Back. Yeah, we got a question back there. Actually, it's more of a statement kind of thing. This is the first convention I've ever gone to. Um, the reason why I'm here, the reason why I'm staff is because I've watched Evergreen Northwest, the convention stream live. And I was like, I gotta be there. That was like so much fun. I mean, I know. And, and I can say for myself, and I'm pretty sure for everyone on the table here, anybody who's worked at a convention for streaming, um, you know, for us, is that that's why we do it. Because honestly, it's what it. it the reason we put in all that time was to help build a community because it gets people to these things. And that's the number one thing about these conventions, and this is a really good example of that. You put enough bronies who know each other in one area, they cannot but have fun. You know what I mean? Like, they yeah. have to almost have fun. There's no way not to. And it's just so much, it's so great. Okay, uh, you. Uh, this, uh, before he asks this question, sorry, just that we've been told that you know, we're a little limited on time, so that would probably How much time do we have? have? Two minutes. Two minutes? Okay, we'll do it fast. Uh, we have, have you brought up the fact that some bronies can't afford to go to cons? Is this yes. the only way that they can ever even Especially the ones that are Especially the ones that are in the military and, and deployed overseas, those are the ones that I, I sometimes will cite as a good reason because we I've had messages, you know, somebody like I was in Afghanistan and the only way I saw BronyCon was because you guys were streaming it. And I mean that's that's hard to respond to first of all because think about their sacrifice but second of all um Especially yeah that after that they're like well i can't wait to see it next year because i'm still on deployment like, one of my uh, best friends in this fandom is osaka jack um and you know he does it to the spotlight he lives in japan he he lives and works in japan he's only been to one convention ever um aside from the japanese convention that's there now they've actually started one so good on that. Um, but he's not only been to one major convention ever, and that was Everfree Northwest last year, and he had to stay for two and a half years to do that. And so he was there for three days. He had spent multiple thousands of dollars to be there. Without those streams, there was no way he was really going to be able to, to do that. So it's kind of sad to me that a lot of conventions don't see that. Um, you know, because the truth is, to stream a convention, it's an investment. They have to pay the venue for a certain amount of bandwidth. And beyond that, for us to do it, we need equipment, we need to be able to get ourselves to it. We all have day jobs. He's called Cowboy Dave because he's actually a cowboy. He was rustling cattle just the other day. I'm not kidding, he's from South Dakota. I do electrical repair as a day job. You know, we have to make ends meet. This isn't a, you know, this fandom doesn't really pay money. So, yeah, carry your yeah, yeah. I'm actually a uh, yeah. I'm actually an electronic uh, technician at Best Buy. And most of the time, I have to take off. It's it's almost like contract work too. So I mean, the way I look at it is, I have and now that I'm working with the convention, I look at it like I have three jobs right now. You know, I have my day job, I have EFN, and I have right now the convention. But that's my own fault. Um, so in the end, I think conventions almost have taken it for granted. Honestly, the idea that you know, people are going to, you know, come and that they're going to just be the actually. What? It's done, drive. It's time for you to push it up. Yeah. <laughs> and our panel's and our done, too. So, anyway, that's just wanted to just say that, yeah, I think it's a bit of a shame they don't want to invest in it, but they will. So, we'll see. All right, anyway, we got to check the, uh, the We got to check this easy bake oven. That's burning chocolate. Yep. Yeah, it's burning yeah. chocolate. Go, go. Oh, God. Go. You have to fix it. Oh. Where's the... Colorful spatula. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Also, before you guys leave, come pick up one of our beautiful get out cards. Yeah, come and get a get out card. Come get out and hand it to somebody today. Come and get out. What do I do? Push it out. Push it from the side of the Where? 
Okay, so you push it on this side, and then you do like a, a pizza kind of thing on this side to get it out. Okay, so what do you use this? So yeah, you can push it as far as it will go, and it won't let you go further. There you go. Alright, so then you sort of see it there, and you might have to look inside and pretend you're a little kid. Oh my god. How is this a toy? <laughs> And what the hell is that? That's what you made! Yay! It's your result! Yay! I had a poop baby! Oh. <laughs> you made a chocolate mush! It's so pretty and I don't even know where I can put it. Uh, <laughs> your mouth. <laughs> it smells good. So eat it. Eat it. I'm not gonna eat it for everybody. <laughs> and what happened to the white? Alright, I got an idea. Everyone just poke a finger in it. That's so <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> but it's the best thing. It's the best panel we've ever had. Yeah, it was a little bit fun. Yes. Please. Well, I'll have a case. Yes. That is beautiful. That is <laughs> the worst thing ever. That's going to go on our site as a headline photo. That should become my profile picture. Yeah. Just remember, people, if you can smell it, you can get an idea of the flavor. That smells good, actually. That's not bad. Well, the craft tasted good. Here, turn it off. Yeah, I turned uh, it off. It's not as fun. Eat it. 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 Mini whoopie pie cakes or chocolate mush piles have cooled. My whoopie deflated. Oh. So cool? it, you can remove it from the pan <laughs> as soon as you can feel like you can touch it. It's just a light bulb inside of there, so you should be able to like that. I don't think it even cooked. Oh, it did! It cooked? Woo! It does not look like what's on the packet, does it? Nope. But it wow. tastes like it. it looks like it's Here you go. Wow. It's actually really good. Ah. That's good. Wow, that's yeah. hot. Okay. All right. Oh, okay, yeah, mom needs some. I'm going to stop calling you. It's okay. I'm not offended. It's just because you know what I'm doing. Yeah. So you're teaching me how to use an easy bake oven. It just seems... Okay, there's only so much of it left. There's only a little bit more. So <laughs> just like... Ah! Yeah. It is like a lava cake. That is not bad for being cooked by a light bulb. It's really not bad. Anybody else? It only has two settings off and on. Buttons. Buttons. Drop. Drop. Eat it. I was about to eat it. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah, go for it. This just proves that we're more like Dark and uh, ambitious but rubbish. Except for once we've succeeded. Easy pick the barbarian. Easy pick the barbarian. Oh, there's a barbarian. On me right now that identifies me as EFN. Nothing at all, I'm sure. You've been, you've been branded. Whatever, Dad. Your name, Dad. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here is Rel Dan, who also works on our news site. And I, I, I have been told that you're now working with Osaka Jack on uh, Into the Spotlight. Yeah. I am. Might be starting with that up later this year. Yep. If you ever read any of our Saturday morning uh, episode reviews, he's the one who writes it. Leaked or otherwise. <laughs> uh, we don't talk about that. We don't worry about such things. See, that was a system uh, problem. We're not going to say whose system, but... Uh, um, and then also over here is Casey, who works with the news team, uh, formerly of Bernie Clubhouse. I'm trying to get you to do merch reports. Well, you do merch reports with, uh, with the does. history of MLP. Yep. So she does a lot of work with that. And then, sorry through here, uh, we got Jay Holler in the back there, who I need to speak to about PMV plus. I don't work for you anymore, you pay me to be here. <laughs> 
Holler. You See, Holler and I have a special relationship because we both live in Minnesota, so I'm constantly yeah, harassing Holler. him. It's a very special relationship. Yo, him super moon. Yeah. Take the light. Love you. <laughs> Um, and then, actually, uh, we've got a few other people here. Uh, Beavids has helped out on our site as well. Tyler's helped out. Um, and, uh, what was it? Well, I'll get to it, but there are a couple people who are associated with a new show we're working on, so. Ooh. Ooh. I've heard about that. What means of a thing? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. So, uh... Oh, my. Hey, what? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi. Thank, so first of all, thank you for coming to this panel. I know that they scheduled us against GM Barrow and, and all the other things going on at this con is obviously a packed convention. We've got so many people here. Um, thank you for also, you know, I'm, thank you to the venue and everybody for actually the panel's actually happening because it moved about four times <laughs> before the convention. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad that it came together. So anyway, uh, welcome to the EFN panel. I am Final Draft. I am the director of EFN. This is Captain Dan. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Cowboy Dave. Thank you. And what, 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 what was our, our, our title we came up for? What was it for? What is that? I think it was uh, everything. Well, it was like, <laughs> okay, so he's like our director of human resources or something, but that sounds awful. So, yeah, I think it was just uh, like, uh, anyway. Just, just manager. Yeah, yeah, general manager. Yeah. General manager. Yeah, there we'll, we go. We'll go with that. We'll there change we... the site later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And well, were you supposed to introduce me or am I introducing myself? You yeah, did for him. Oh, he delegated. He delegated. He delegated. Yep. So, okay, apparently I delegated. So I'm uh, Kinero. I am an Everfree Networks project specialist. What I do is still to be determined, apparently. <laughs> he does everything. Yeah, I do a little bit of everything. When he can't do it, I do it. On top of that, I am also the director of Cape PNY, one of the video <laughs> dramas that's on uh, Everfree Network. The people that want to, who are interested in wanting to see what it's going to be like at their convention experience, they're already here. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, and I've always maintained, and I'll say this on this panel here, I've always maintained I believe in convention streaming because I know, I mean, how many people here in the room watched an EFN stream of a convention? And of you guys, how, did that stream convince you to go to a convention in person? Everybody's hands go down. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's one of those things that, I mean, when people see it, it's not so much a way to dispel ticket sales. It drives ticket sales for a convention. It makes them bigger because people want to participate. You know, as fun as it is to be, you know, from a camera angle, you're still separated by a screen. And I think that, you know, and I've tried to push this with conventions, um, but, you know, it, it's a changing fandom. People don't, uh, not all the conventions want any stream this year. So, anyway, um, so for two years we did convention streaming all the time. BronyCon last year was the most ridiculous production experience I have ever partaken in in my life. Half the people in this room did camera work for us. <laughs> um, we had He's not kidding. We had a crew of 30 people at BronyCon last year to do that stream. We had three concurrent live streams. We had two people managing a forty thousand dollar you know, uh, TriCaster. I mean, it was insanity. It was crazy, and we were really proud of that work. Um, BronyCon's not looking to be live streamed this year. Sorry. Oh. I know. But uh, you know, after that, we kind of we came back from BronyCon, and on top of it being uh, its show liaison and logistics and all that other wonderful stuff, and on top of that, I also work for the news team. <laughs> <laughs> I also work for the news team where I clean up his messes sometimes when PR goes bad, and on the other side I'm also a professional what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Save that for after I'm sorry, Kinero, this isn't the appropriate venue. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, to be fair, uh, I, you know, I, I, was a, I was a volunteer firefighter for, you know, five years, so I had to make some money on the side. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> yeah, look at that pool. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Randy just went up. <laughs> uh, well, I, I'm uh, Krypton Logic. I run the news site with the wonderful uh, people that are all here in front of us. Uh, and uh, yes, he does fix all my problems because I get myself in trouble a lot. <laughs> so. Well, we actually have, a, I mean, 
you know, it's a, it, we've got a few of the other members of EFN here, uh, obviously in the audience. I know a lot of you guys know us already, um, but over here is Index, our uh, our new uh, our coffee new boy. I'm so proud of him because he's doing camera work. You know, you're really a part of EFN when you've done camera work at a convention. So I, you know, this is like you know the boy becoming the teenager or something is great. <laughs> you know, he told me it's gonna be impossible because to do camera work at a convention because we're not streaming any time. We'll find a way. Yeah, <laughs> we'll find. A way. We'll find a way. Um, and, and then also in the, in the crowd here, we've got Larsis over here. Hey, oh. there is nothing on. Yeah. Basically, wanted to have a panel so we can meet some of the people you know at the convention in person. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into the history and lengthy boringness of what EFN is, but. Effectively, you know, we're now two and a half years old. We started off as Everfree Radio, and we started off as an hour-long po podcast that we decided was more interesting if split up because bronies have a short attention span. <laughs> Red ball. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no. Bro so we, we we decided to split it up, and we you know we focused on interviews, we focused on you know music reviews and all that. From there, we went to BronyCon January 2012. Was anybody else there at that one? In, in the Hotel Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah. And I was I was in a hotel room there with One Trick and 8-Track, and 8-Track goes, you know, we could stream this. I said, really? What do we need? Well, I got this camera here, and we got this thing here, so yeah, we could stream it. And I've I, seen that camera, by the way, and I'm surprised we were able to do anything with I that I think camera. he uses it as a paperweight now. <laughs> yeah. So that was the doom of our times because once we had streamed that, you know, that's what we became known for was we were the streaming guys. So uh, all of 2012 and all of last year, we streamed pretty much every major convention, save for a couple that didn't want to be streamed or covered live. Sometimes conventions don't want that. Um, and, you know, the fandom's changing. It is. And this year we're not doing too much in the way of streaming just because I think a lot of conventions are looking for people to come in person and, or be recorded there, but last...